This footage is captured by a Puma unmanned air system being used by 3-2 Regiment Royal Artillery on a training exercise to find and gather information about the enemy. The Wessex gunners usually train on Salisbury Plain, but have come to Bradanic Airfield in Cornwall to test their skills in a different environment and push the remotely piloted aircraft systems to the limit, seeing what the Puma can gather and how far it can fly. So we're normally capped at around 20 k's in its normal setup, um, but with this long range tracking antenna, so we can push to 70 kilometers plus. Um, so we're just sort of utilizing that now and get a feel for, can we get the aircraft out that far from this location? It just enables us to get out uh, further earlier and then we can identify the enemy at a greater range uh, and pick up what they're doing sooner so we can uh, assess it and, and react as necessary. As part of Exercise Wessex Seahawk, the regiment are also practicing controlling and commanding more unmanned aerial systems over a larger area. So a tasking will come down. It might be that they need to um, get footage of a village or something um, and then um, I'll task the detachments to fly there and then get that information. We're now working for a brigade. Used to be that 3 2 Regiment was working at Battle Group. We've now um, working in a much bigger area of operations. So we'll have more detachments out on different taskings, getting a greater understanding of the area that we're operating in. The data and feeds that are gathered from the remotely piloted air systems are all sent back to this command post. That information is then analysed here behind me and the most important parts are sent back to Brigade Headquarters in Wiltshire where it can be used for tactical decision making. Now everything you see here is experimentation because they're trying to find the best methods of sharing that information. Anman Air System for us is a capture tool, so uh, we are leading in the innovation in the Royal Artillery. Um, so we are looking forward to the future and how we can, we can use products that are out there at the moment from industry to give us a better capability. The most important thing is, is getting information back to our high headquarters at the speed of relevance. So if it needs to be there quickly, it needs to be uh, over the, the most efficient means, and that also includes the bandwidth. So something that gives us enough bandwidth to be able to send high uh, data, high rates of data over long distances with the best speed to enable us to get that information back to the people who need to do something with it. Puma coming in uh, with a close and visual. Okay. In this scenario, the long distance is just over 200 miles as the people who need the information are in Lark Hill and some of the technology being tested is Skype. So we are dislocated from um, the, the guys and girls on the ground, but the information they're getting uh, or that we are receiving is having um, a direct influence uh, on decision making um, and the execution of the plan. Uh, that is uh, timely, real information, uh, which is paramount to, to any commander. We could be doing this in a plethora of tasks all around the globe, joint environment or indeed an army environment. Um, but in reality, it's, it's exercises like this that enable us to practice and hone our skills in order to, to become operationally effective. The main output of this, though, is the innovative side of it. So by testing us being uh, so dislocated uh, from the forward element, enables us to come up with uh, novel uh, and, and fairly unorthodox um, methods of uh, processing uh, and subsequently actioning uh, activity. It's the constant innovation and evolution that keeps the regiment relevant. 3 t Regiment has been doing this for a lot of years, um, all the way through um, Iraq and Afghanistan, Ops Telic and Herrick, and now looking forward to other operations in new operational theatres. So what we can do as the commanders and soldiers, the specialists who operate these capabilities today, to shape what the capability of the future looks like is absolutely critical. And that's exactly what we're doing down here. And it's really exciting for the youngsters coming through now um, we have had uh, capabilities in this regiment, um, systems that uh, pretty much equate to a Nokia, an old Nokia 3210 mobile phone. But we see our capabilities and the developments in this space moving at the speed of computer technology. So an iPhone 5 to an iPhone 10, and our systems move on at that rate as well. An iPhone 11, as my son reminded me the other night, I mean, I can't even keep up with it. But it's moving at such a rate that we need to ensure that we have the youngest, brightest brains involved in it. And I'm really privileged to have those people working uh, for me. 
Which is why the training exercise is also being used to put some of the newly qualified Desert Hawk 3 pilots through their paces. It's a smaller remotely piloted aircraft than the Puma and it can't fly in the rain. It's not the most advanced piece of equipment, but it can still test the ability of the soldiers. This area is quite good for us to get as much flying in as possible, quite challenging as well with the wind. Um, this gives us the ability to then test the pilots and captains on the skills. Uh, also deconflicting with other air users. So we have Desert Hawk 3 within the airspace as well as Puma. Uh, this is also good for when we're deploying, we can deconflict with other air users and it's quite challenging at times when you want to launch and as well as recovering. So deconfliction, uh, we're talking about how we can operate different aircrafts within an airspace. So how, how and when uh, those aircrafts are going to launch uh, and what heights and we have to deconflict through height, time and space. Uh, with Puma as well, the endurance on that is a lot longer than Desert Hawk 3. So with that, we also have to manage the height as well. In the coming years, 3-2 Regiment is due to add Aquila, a new remotely piloted aircraft system to its repertoire, so it can continue its path of innovation to bring more intelligence and support to the battle space on operations of whatever scale. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.